Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use LTSpice to create a very simple circuit so that you can create your own more complicated circuits and simulate them and solve for voltages of all the nodes. So without further ado, let's get started. First, hit Control M to make a new document. You'll see me pressing buttons and they will appear on the bottom left corner just so you can follow along. I'm going to go ahead and place down a ground node. I'm going to place it anywhere, it doesn't really matter where I place it, but let's say I accidentally placed a couple too many. No worries, we can go ahead and delete them by pressing Control X. Control X can delete things by selecting them or by making a box around some selection that you want to delete. When you let go, it just deletes it all. Hit Escape to switch back to a normal mouse, a crosshair. If you left click and drag, you can move around, and you can also zoom in and out by scrolling. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this ground somewhere over here, somewhere in the middle of the screen so it's easier to see. Let's go ahead and place down a voltage source right above it. Then I'm going to place down two resistors. You can rotate components by pressing Ctrl R. So I'm going to go ahead and place this resistor over here. Let's go ahead and pan around a little bit. And we can actually go ahead and wire everything up. Here's a shortcut for wiring. If you press W to wire, and you just click on this node, and you go over this voltage source, LT Spice knows that you don't really intend on shorting the voltage source, so it will kind of just delete the wire that was above the voltage source. Same thing goes for resistors. And as you can see, we've wired up a very simple voltage divider. But we're not done yet. We actually have to define the voltage and the resistances of these resistors. So let's go ahead and do that. We right click this and we change this to 5 volts or whatever voltage you want. Resistor, I'm going to just set it to some random value. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and simulate the circuit. When we hit play, a window will pop up saying that we need to configure the analysis of LTSpice. This is because LTSpice is a very powerful tool and can simulate all sorts of different things. It can simulate AC analysis, it can simulate transient analysis for whenever you have some kind of capacitor or an inductor changing the voltages at each node at any point in time. But we don't really have any of that, so we just only have DC operating point. We're just going to have resistors and voltage sources, so the voltages are pretty much consistent. Hit OK. A window will pop up. Close this window. And we can click on some nodes, like these. And it will actually tell you what the voltage is with relative to ground. So that's how you wire up a very simple circuit. Now, using all of these skills, you know how to pan, you know how to zoom in and out, you know how to place components, you know how to rotate them. You can actually go ahead and wire up some kind of crazy circuit like the one that we discussed in our previous video, super node analysis. This is how the circuit from last video looks like. This is the circuit that we have from our previous video. And again, let's go ahead and simulate it. We just do that by hitting the screen play button, close this out, and click on each individual node. And you can go ahead and look at my previous video, but indeed the calculations are correct. I can go ahead and pull up the frame right now. It should appear somewhere on the bottom right corner. As you can see, all our calculations were correct, and we have verified it using LTSpice. Now you can go ahead and create any circuit you want using LTSpice, and it can go ahead and simulate it for you. But there's one more thing that I have discussed in previous videos, but I haven't discussed yet. In this video, we haven't talked about current sources and other sources that may depend on voltage or current. So let's go ahead and talk about that right now. Let's say that this voltage source depends on the current through R3. Well. If that's the case, then what we have to do is we have to delete this wire or this wire. And we're going to create sort of like an ammeter. And here's how we make an ammeter. It's kind of strange. So we have to press Control X and delete this wire or this wire, right? Because an ammeter has to be wired in series with the resistor and whatnot. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to put a voltage source, rotate it in the direction that we want to measure the current in. So in this case, the current is going to be measured in this direction, right? So in this in this specific configuration, we're going to measure current in this direction. But if we instead have it like this, 
then that means that we're measuring current in that direction instead, right? So again, it really matters which way the voltage source is facing. In this case, we just have it in this way. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Now you might be wondering what this voltage source should be. This voltage source should be zero volts, which is really weird, but it basically just means that the voltage drop across this is zero. It's just a wire, but this is going to be our quote unquote ammeter. So let's go ahead and place down something that depends on the current through this resistor. For example, we can go ahead and place down a voltage source that is dependent on the current. We can do so by looking at E, F, G, and H. These are each of the components. So here we have a voltage source that is dependent on current. So let's go ahead and click place. We can go ahead and just place it right here. Let's go ahead and hit control X to delete this component. And to move this component, we can do so by hitting M, clicking it, and moving it back into place. Now let's right click it so that we can edit the value. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this value to be V4 and I'm going to type in the gain. So it can be V4 times 2, V4 times 3 or whatnot. I'm just going to type in V4 times 2. So that means that it's going to read the current that V4 is experiencing and multiply it by 2. And that's going to be the voltage source for this particular voltage source. So let's hit OK. And as you can see, there's a bunch of question marks that has appeared and some of these voltages might not be correct. So in order to simulate it again, we just hit play, close the window that pops up and it updates. And there we go. And we can actually technically find the voltage up here, but technically because this is just a wire, it's actually going to be just the same as you can see. All right. So that's how you place more components. You can also place on a current source. There's a bunch of components you can go through and scroll through, but again, E, F, G, and H, these are the components that depend on certain components and um, depend on voltage and whatnot. So that's how you simulate all the currents and voltages through any given component of any given circuit using LT Spice. I hope that this video helped, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.